Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to create a service principal in Azure using Azure portal. So basically when you have a requirement to create a service principal, then how we are going to do that using Azure portal, we will see the complete steps as part of this video tutorial. Now let me navigate to portal.azure.com that is the Azure portal where I have already logged in into my Azure portal. There we will try to create the service principal, right? Now you can able to see here I have already logged into Azure portal and uh, for, for creating the service principal what you need to do is after logging into Azure portal just search for Microsoft Enter ID, Microsoft Enter ID, which is nothing but the Azure Active Directory. Earlier it was known as Azure Active Directory. Now Microsoft has renamed it to Microsoft Enter ID, right? Hope you know that. If you don't know that, I think this is the latest news that they have renamed this uh, Azure Active Directory as Microsoft Enter ID. So going forward, you need to search for this Microsoft Enter ID instead of Azure Active Directory. Just click on the search result. Uh, then what you need to do, you need to click on App Registrations. You can able to see here the App Registrations in the left navigation, right? Just click, click on that, I'll click on that, then you click on new registration, right? Just click on new registration and here what you need to do, you need to provide a meaningful name because this will be the user facing display name for this application, right? Which can be changed later also, you can change it later also, but make sure you are providing a, a meaningful name. I will say Azure Lessons UP and then supported account types. I will choose the first option. I will keep the default option as it is. It is a single tenant. Okay. And box URL. I will just choose your web. Okay. Anyway, this is optional and then just click on the register button and you can able to see the application has been uh, created successfully what you need to do now locate the application or the client id you can able to see here this is the application client id right this is the id what you need to do just click on the copy to clipboard button next to that and then click on the certificates and secrets right if you will uh, will expand this manage tab you can able to see here certificates and secrets okay after copying this cl uh, application client id just you know expand this manage tab and click on certificates and secrets and here you click on the new client secret I will just say Azure license so make sure to enter a description meaningful description and here i will uh, select the expiry as uh, six months is fine you can change it based on your need also okay and then i will just click on the add button you can able to see the application credential has been updated successfully and this is the azure license key that we have created just now right so now what you need to do, just search for subscriptions. I will say subscriptions 
and click on the subscription search result and ju then just click on the subscription name and then you click on access control IAM here what you need to do just uh, select the role assignment staff then the add button on choose add role assignment and here you choose the privileged administrator role staff and search for contributor contributor this one is a select and click on the next button here you just choose uh, the first option uh, for this assign as access to user groups or service principal okay and then members you click on the select members and here you need to now search here uh, for this agile uh, lessons up that you have created and select that and then just click on the select button you can able to see here it is selected now right the app we have created earlier right that one you need to select and click on the select button now as a next step what you can do click on the review plus assign button and again you click on that review plus assign in the moment you will do that it will show you adding this role assignment and you can able to see that it is added here and now you can able to see the service principal is ready we have successfully created now what you can do you can just pass this client id and secret through your client app request then it gets authenticated and you can get an access token that you can use for all the requests for your client apps to access this as your resources right so that's it for today uh, we discussed here how to create a service principal in azure uh, using azure portal right? thanks for watching this video if you like the video kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free Azure articles, different helpful Azure PowerShell commands and Azure CLI commands as well. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.